The team sees that selecting the best supplier and achieving the lowest cost starts with working with the budget holder to build the best possible specification. Let's listen in as the team continues their discussion. I see that I need to influence the specifications. Can you give me some examples of how I would do that? Let's say we are buying the service for cleaning our uniforms. Instead of cleaning the uniforms three times per week, two might be enough. If the budget holder agrees, you've just reduced the cost of the service by over thirty percent. Nice. Any others? The current specifications of our uniforms have a zipper on the bottom of each trouser leg. Adding that zipper increases the cost to manufacture the trousers. So you could question the budget holder on whether that extra zipper really improves performance. Now you've just taken another ten percent off the cost of the uniforms, all without a single negotiation. You said something about ensuring a fair competition. Can you give me some examples? Let's say you want to select a supplier that will handle all of the uniform cleaning for all European sites. There are only a few suppliers that would be able to do that, I guess. Correct. So one way of opening up competition to more suppliers would be to remove the requirement from the specification that the supplier handle all of Europe. Smaller suppliers would then be able to bid on the cleaning work in their location. If we're talking about the uniforms themselves, if we specify that we need ten thousand uniforms delivered within the next eight weeks, there may only be a small number of suppliers that have the capacity to fulfill the requirement. But if we required delivery over two years instead of eight weeks, we'd open up competition to smaller and potentially lower-cost suppliers. Exactly. I'll give you one more example of keeping a fair competition. Don't specify a particular brand or supplier. For example, if you're buying word processing software, don't specify Microsoft Word. In general, the more specific your requirements are, and the more requirements you add, the higher the cost will be, and the fewer suppliers you will have to compete for your business. Daniel sees that his role is to influence the budget holder at the specification stage. Because that is where he has ten times the potential savings compared to the negotiation stage.